Hello everyone, welcome to part seven of reading my journal. If I look a little puffy, I'm batch filming and I just filmed part six, which covered the earthquake and it is apparently so emotional to me. It gets me emotional. But this video will be a little happier. There's some photos to throw in. I love some of these photos, so I hope you guys enjoy them. It was our family's trip to Bali, Indonesia. We were obviously very lucky to first of all be living in Japan in the first place, but we were closer to Bali than we are now. If you look at flights from Denver to Bali, not realistic, but coming from Japan, a lot more realistic. And the conversion rate there is incredible. Let me look it up and I'll tell you what it's at right now. So as of today, which is actually September 21st, one US dollar is point oh 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 six five indonesian rupiah so the conversion would be the price of let's say a three-star hotel is fifty dollars a night for a three-star hotel we were lucky enough to be able to afford a private villa which was about a hundred dollars a night which is insane to think about for a private villa. I do want to preface this with, again, we were incredibly lucky to be able to have had this experience. I don't want to try to brag about it in any way, but I want to also explain and give the whole story and the whole experience. Um, if you have the chance to go to Bali, literally the most expensive part is the flight to get over there. But being there is one of the cheaper places you can actually travel. So let's get started. March 23rd of 2011, review of Bali. Our school had spring break early because of the earthquake about two weeks ago. So my family went to Bali. On Wednesday the 17th, we flew from Narita airport to the airport in Singapore. Don't ask me how to pronounce it. And we only had a one hour layover. So we had to run to get to the next terminal, then go through security again. Then we boarded the next plane from Singapore to Densbar, Bali. That was only about a two hour flight this time. When we got to Bali, we had to go through one or two things that needed our passport, I'm guessing customs. Oh, and when we got off the plane, we had to use stairs to get off the plane, which I had never done before. So I thought that was so cool. <laughs> Once you step on the stairs, then you get the hot air and the hot air smell, not very pleasant, but it could have also been from the humidity. That's all I wrote about Bali. So that's all that I wrote. I guess let's talk about it a little bit and kind of go based off some pictures that we have. So again, we had our own private villa. It was very cheap. Tips were very cheap. It was a three bedroom. So my parents had a master bedroom. My sisters and I shared one room and then there was a, kind of like a loft upstairs above the kitchen, but no one wanted to sleep there because there were a lot of geckos up there. There were geckos all around the villa, like up on the roof and everything. So it was kind of cool to see but for someone who doesn't like those sort of things, it was not for me. But we did have our own private chef who made breakfast, lunch, and dinner for us. My favorite thing probably that I've ever had in my life was breakfast fried rice with a fried egg on top. It was so good. One day we went out to the beach because you have to go to the beach and we were kind of walking outwards, not necessarily in the water, but then the tide came in fast and I was wearing like those cheap $5 flip flops that are like foam. So I was stepping in the sand and in the water and my flip flops kept coming off and the water was kind of washing them away. And I started crying because there were all of these friggin, we call them chocolate chip starfish. I don't know what they really are, but then I was afraid I was going to step on them every time I lost my flip flop. So I was so scared the whole time. <laughs> we did end up riding elephants which I don't know if I would do today necessarily. Um, but at the time it was something that we had to experience and we were there. We visited a lot of temples, including the monkey temple, which was an experience in itself. The monkey temple is exactly what it sounds like. It's a temple surrounded by monkeys in the wild. <laughs> so there were a lot that were trying to steal things off of people. They tried to bite Taylor's shoe at one point. It was hilarious, but people will, or people, the monkeys will take things if you leave them out or if you don't have them attached to your body, they will take it. 
glasses and all. We went to a water park called, at the time, Water Bomb Bali. I don't know if it's still named that today. Had a freaking blast. I am not one for water slides that are steep and you have to like lay, I mean, you have to lay flat on some of them. I'm more of like an inner tube kind of girl. And so I went on one where you lay flat like this and it had a couple like dips in it and I panicked midway and I leaned up and I like landed on my tailbone funny and it hurt my back for the rest of the day. So lesson learned, or I just won't go on them again. There was this really nice mall that we went to, I think the following day and we had Cold Stone. It was like a regular shop. They had toy stores, it's a regular mall. They had toy stores and clothing stores. So that was fun to experience just in a different country. And they look so nice. Like the mall is so nice and it's so clean and updated. It was, you, you wouldn't think it would be like that. Then the plane ride home, I've said this to myself ever since we went, we had a layover in Singapore. And I think this time it was eight hours. And that airport is, is one of the top airports in the world because it's so amazing. Like everything they have in there. So from what I recall, there was a movie theater with like four different movies playing, just like a small theater room, not a big one. Um, there is an indoor botanic garden. There's an indoor waterfall. Um, they had shops, but our layover was overnight. So none of them were open. So that was kind of sad. And then this is just Googling it to see what they have now. Obviously internet, game facilities, prayer rooms, showers, spas, gym, swimming pool, and a hotel. Cause I guess that's a big hub for layovers and Singapore's just an amazing country I hear. <laughs> so that was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I will never have another trip like that in my life. I would like to think I will, but it probably won't happen. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video.